Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathlog. This lesson is on quadrilaterals. This is a le uh, lesson 11.3. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. And there's our common core strand for our teachers. And then our question is, how can we classify and compare uh, quadrilaterals? There's all kinds of quadrilaterals. Remember, quadrilaterals is a four-sided figure. Have you ever heard of a, a quad runner? People ride those four-wheel uh, like motorcycle things. Well, quad means four. So that's why they're called quad runners, okay? And so like tri is um, uh, like triangle, tri is three, like a tricycle that has three wheels. A tricycle has three wheels. All right, so types of quadrilaterals, okay? So just a general quadrilateral is any four-sided figure or a four-sided polygon with uh, four angles, okay? I just mostly count the sides, but you can count the angles too. One, two, three, four. There's four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. So special types of quads are... Here's one, a parallelogram. Uh, remember, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral because there's four sides, and it has uh, uh, both pairs of opposite sides that are both parallel. Can you see the top and bottom are parallel, and the left and right are parallel? They would never intersect if they kept going, and they're congruent, so the left and right are, are equal, and the top and bottom are equal. So parallelograms are a quadrilateral with uh, opposite sides parallel and congruent. A rectangle is a special type of parallelogram that has four right angles, okay? So, um, uh, again, since it's a parallelogram, it has all of these qualities right here. The opposite sides are parallel. The opposite uh, uh, sides are congruent. So, so that's a, a rectangle right there, okay? A rhombus is a special type of parallelogram that has four congruent sides. All the four sides are equal to each other. This side equals this side equals this side equals this side. You can probably think of a square. Well, that's a special type of rhombus. It's, um, uh, yeah, they have parallel sides just like a parallelogram. A square is a parallelogram that has four congruent sides like a rhombus does, but it also has four right angles like a rectangle does, okay? So if it's a square, it's a rectangle, and it's also a rhombus. I didn't put that in there. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has only one pair of parallel sides. So you can hear, see the top and bottom are parallel, but the left and right are not parallel. Sometimes the left and right are parallel, and the top and bottom are not parallel. So if it only has one pair of parallel sides, then it's a trapezoid, and trapezoids are not parallelograms because parallelograms has two pairs of parallel sides. So explain how trapezoids and parallelograms are different. Well, they're both quadrilaterals, but a trapezoid only has one pair of parallel sides. Here we have the left and right parallel, and the top and bottom aren't. And a parallelogram has both pairs, two pairs of parallel sides, okay? All right, and uh, parallelograms have both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, so top and bottom are congruent, and left and right are congruent. Actually, that's the left and that's the right right there. And also, um, your book doesn't say this, but uh, it says this in my geometry class, both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. This obtuse angle is equal to that obtuse angle. This acute angle is equal to that acute angle. That happens with all parallelograms. So it's the same with squares and rhombuses because they're special types of parallelograms and rectangles also. Okay, so uh, a kite is another quadrilateral uh, that has two pairs of consecutive sides that are congruent. So consecutive just means next to. So this side is consecutive to this side, and this side is consecutive to this side. So both pairs of consecutive sides are congruent. These two sides are congruent, and these two sides are congruent. But opposite sides are not congruent, because if they were congruent, then it would be a parallelogram. Okay, so this is a kite. Okay, so there's no parallel sides on kites. And one more thing about kites is they have one pair of opposite sides that are congruent. Okay, this angle up here is not congruent to this angle. Only these two guys are congruent right there. It only has one pair of parallel sides, okay? So here's a Venn diagram that shows all our quadrilaterals right here. So we have, um, and here's all the quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals includes parallelograms, rectangles, squares, uh, rhombuses, trapezoids, and kites. Okay, so here this says it's a kite, but a kite is not a trapezoid, and a trapezoid is not a kite. A kite is not a parallelogram, and neither is a trapezoid, and parallelograms are not trapezoids or kites right here. Okay, so let's use this figure to describe some points. So what does each point represent? Okay, so point A right here represents a rhombus, 
It's also in the circle of parallelograms. It's also in the circle of quadrilaterals, but it's not in the circle of trapezoids or kites, okay? So uh, A is talking about rhombuses, parallelograms, and quadrilaterals right there, okay? B, B is, it's in this area, it's in the circle of a rhombus, sort of a circle. Sorry, my finger couldn't do a perfect circle right here. It's in the circle of a rhombus. It's in, uh, so this is a square because it's in this little area of a square. It's in the area of a rhombus. It's also in the area of a rectangle. It's also in the area of a parallelogram. And it's also in the area of this quadrilateral. So, so B is in all three of these or four of these regions or five of these regions. Sorry. So squares, rhombuses, rectangles, parallelograms, and finally quadrilaterals. So, so that's what B is. Okay. All right, where's C? So C is just a rectangle, a parallelogram, and it's a quadrilateral. It's in the area of a rectangle, and then this area is in the area of a parallelogram. It's in the area of a quadrilateral, okay? D is only in the area of a parallelogram and a quadrilateral right there. So all parallelograms are quadrilaterals, but this parallelogram is not a rectangle or a square or a rhombus because it's outside of those regions right there. So just parallelogram and quad. Okay, E is in the area of a trapezoid and a quadrilateral. Okay, and then uh, where's, where's F? Okay, F is just a quadrilateral. It's no special quadrilateral. And then G is a kite and a quadrilateral. Okay, all right, so classify the quads in as many ways as possible. And we're going to write uh, quadrilaterals or parallelograms or rectangles or rhombus, rhombuses. Rhombi is, per, is parallel for rhombuses. Square, trapezoid, or kite, okay? All right, so this is just a quadrilateral right here, just a four-sided figure right here. Okay, this one is, um, it's, a, it's a parallelogram, definitely a parallelogram, because this side's parallel to this side, and this side's parallel to this side, but when all sides are equal, it's also a rhombus. So rhombus, parallelogram, and quadrilateral. They're all quadrilateral, so we're going to say quads with all of these, okay? All right, this is a rectangle, and a rectangle is a parallelogram. And it's a quadrilateral, okay? All right, this one is just a parallelogram because I don't see any right angles in here. It almost looks like a right angle, but it doesn't have a little box like this one does. So this is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral, okay? All right, how about these guys right here? All right, this is a trapezoid, but these two sides means it's... You guys remember what kind of triangle it is when two, two sides are equal in a triangle? It's called an isosceles triangle. Well, this is called an isosceles trapezoid, okay? So it's an isosceles trapezoid and a quadrilateral. Your book doesn't say that. Let's look at the Venn diagram. Isosceles trapezoid would be a circle inside of the trapezoids right here. So your book doesn't share or talk about isosceles trapezoids, but isosceles trapezoids are when two of the uh, non-parallel sides are equal to each other. Okay. Now, actually, in, in geometry, the parallel sides are called the bases, and the non-parallel sides are called the legs. So on isosceles trapezoids, the legs are congruent. But uh, don't worry about that, okay? All right, so uh, this one is just a trapezoid because just the parallel sides are congruent, or parallel, I mean. And these sides, we don't know if they're congruent or not. In fact, they're not right there, okay? So this is just a trapezoid and a quadrilateral. All right, this one is a square because it's also a rectangle because of the right angles. It has four right angles, so it's a rectangle. All four sides are congruent, so it's a rhombus. So it's a square, it's a rhombus, it's a rectangle, it's a parallelogram, and it's a quadrilateral. Okay, this is the kite one, where the next two sides, the consecutive sides, are congruent. Okay, so this one's a kite. Okay, there is no thing uh, that's called an isosceles kite. It's just a kite right there. All right, you guys, I hope that made sense. Take care.